Well, while I was doing the book reports, this is Doc Martin doing book reviews. That while I did the other three, and I'm almost done with this one, it's called For Profit, A History of Corporations. So, boy, can't you imagine what this one This is a real eye-opener, and it is by William Magnuson. Basic Books, New York. Now, there's his picture. William Magnuson is a professor of Texas A&M Law School where he teaches corporate law. So who else better to, <laughs> to author this book, right? Previously, he taught law at Harvard University. The author of Blockchain Democracy, he has written for the New Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, LA Times, and Bloomberg. He lives in Austin, Texas. So, another great... I hope he comes to the Tucson Festival of Books coming over here because we have a great thing and, and I've got to meet a lot of authors. So, here's what it says. From legacy manufacturers to emerging tech giants, corporations wield significant power over our lives, our economy, and our politics. Some celebrate them as engines of progress and prosperity. Others argue that they recklessly pursue profit at the expense of us all. In For Profit, law professor William Magnuson reveals a, a, that both visions contain an element of truth. The story of the corporation is a human story about a diverse group of merchants, bankers, and investors that have, over time, come to shape the landscape of our modern economy. Its central characters include both the brave, powerful, and genius, and the conniving, fraudulent and vicious. At times these characters have been one and the same. Yet, as Magnuson shows, while corporations always haven't always behaved admirably, their purpose is a noble one. From their beginnings in the Roman Republic, corporations have been designed to promote the common good. By recapturing this spirit of civic virtue for profit argues corporations can help craft a society in which all of us, not just shareholders, benefit from the profits of enterprise. So there was a special reason why corporations have been in, uh, blessed or endowed or given these powers. But I, I, I knew that corporations went back for about 2,000 years ago, and people were just figuring out law, you know, the Western world, Greece and, and Rome and all of that. But it's, it did seem to work, you know. So it's an amazing story, and then they were doing the, the unscrupulous things back then, but a lot of times people uh, had great benefits from it. So the great engines that eventually turned out uh, had this uh, ideal that, that was greater than all of them as, as a sum put together. So it's an amazing book, and I think Dr. Magnuson has done a wonderful job uh, in conclusion, is trendy to write against conventional wisdom, to show that everyone else is wrong, to suffer some insight never before conceived, to remind us that the world is complex, but sometimes the com conventional wisdom is precisely that, the wisdom. This does not mean that it is always true or does not come with exceptions or caveats. That's what I say. So get the book like we did. We got this at the Tucson Public Library. And that's uh, an important thing. Right now we have up and downs with corporations. But uh, just remember, if you're, especially if you're a shareholder, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And so by uh, effectively complaining or keeping due diligence, you know, and reading the fine print, you can really learn that, well, maybe this corp is a good deal. And uh, as long as they don't do naked shorting, you know, making up shares and stuff that never existed, and double dealing them and kicking the can down the road for three days and then sending it on, sending it on. But uh, those are called Basil 2 and Basil 3, Basil 4. So we're working on keeping it more... Uh, regulated or enforced, you know, and find it, but Glass-Steagall and uh, Sarsbane Oxley, all those things, well, they've been came and some got gutted and, and uh, of course, everybody does the loopholes and so, and then there's the Bernie Madoffs and all of that. But for a while, 
And it started, you know, England was one of the the biggest beds. I was hearing about a Scotsman that ran away from England, went to France, and Law, I think his name was, and he was a Scotsman. And he became in uh, Louis the Fourteenth. He was a terrible ruler. I mean, he robbed the country, and so he got in and became a finance minister. And I actually tried to help him get going, but he had to work with a young regent because Louis the Fifteenth was only a few years old, and so he had to have guidance and all of that. So a lot of shenanigans went on, but a lot of uh, great wealth and. Uh, exploration and stuff happened after 1700s all the way to 1775 as far as we're concerned in America, you know. But that was the French and Indian War and and colonies were made and, and globalism and um, co colonialism really went rampant in that time and, and a lot of lands traded places and a lot of people were subjugated. So, but anyways, I can go on with my rant, but get the book. It's called For Profit, A History of Corporations by William Magnuson, a professor in corporate law. Keep reading and keep watching KRZ-TV. Goodbye.